right after. Uh, game, I think. Yeah, game audio is fun. Um, this game released right after Ghouls and Ghosts. It was the game that came immediately after. It's just as difficult and has some of the same design quirks and flaws. Uh, it is only one loop, uh, and it's not a very long loop. Uh, the world record is something like 7 minutes 30 seconds. So we're not going to uh, have a lot of time to talk about this game. Um, but I'm going to try my best. We're going to we're gonna have some fun with it. Again, the goal is 1cc, and I think 1cc is quite a bit easier in this game. Uh, you just have to take things slow. Um, I'm going to try to take things as fast as possible, but if I, uh, if I get some bad luck or I end up uh, hitting something that I'm not supposed to um, and don't get the items I need, then we'll see what happens. Strider is a character in NBC. Uh, he was in the first game, or he's in the second game and the third game. He was in the first game as an assist. Um, so I think we are ready to start here. Put our credits in. This is the uh, USA version of the game. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Did not mean to start just yet. This is the USA version of the game. It has a uh, doesn't have some music. Uh, levels three and five use the music from level one. Uh, the Japanese resale version has uh, more music, um, including a final boss name. But I'm not playing that version because Strider, uh, the main character, does a ha noise every single time you swing your sword, and I think that's annoying. So we're going to play the, the USA uh, B-board release um, for this run here. You can almost 1cc this game. Last stage is very BS. You are correct. Um, usually that's where I die for the first time and lose no miss. So we're going to see what happens here. We're going to start in 3, 2, the ha is funny. 3, 2, 1, go. This is the first level, Russia. Um, thing you need to know is that sliding isn't the fastest method of movement in this game, uh, but you don't do it all the time because it's limited by your terrain, and there's a lot of, like, climbing into uh, vertical sections, so. First thing we want is, yep, that guy has an item box. This item box will always spawn an option, uh, or a Boros. I call them options. You want both of these guys to have item boxes, because uh, they... Well, one of them will have an option, one of them will have health. But you want two options. Uh, that's usually what I try to go for. Uh, actually, got really good luck. Um, so now we have both options, which means we're guaranteed maximum damage in most settings. Um, and we have four bars of health. Very, very useful. I messed up a little bit there. Uh, this is the only boss in the game that has a timer for his hits. Uh, so you can only defeat him in about that length of time. Sometimes you can skip it, but usually no. This is the first boss. This first boss, the faster you kill him, the faster his death animation is. Um, unfortunately, didn't go that fast there. But a 113 first level is pretty good. Yeah, you have a lot of bot buddies in this game. We're not going to see a couple of them, because I intentionally don't get them. Um, but there are... you can do other things with the boss. This is Gorilla. It takes... It takes so much less time with two options than one. Um, the task, uh, the only reason you get options is because you're not a task level masher, which no one is. You can't hit uh, 30 inputs a second um, as a human being. Uh, but theoretically, you can get maximum damage with just the sword, but uh, Ouroboros just does that for you. So. That's why we, we get Ouroboros. Uh, this guy, he's a recurring character. I just call him Missile Man. I don't have, I don't remember his actual name. Um, it's something edgy and weird. Um, but he's very, very difficult to kill, especially if you don't have options, because he dodges all your strikes. He doesn't dodge options very well, but he'll shoot those missiles um, and generally just be a nuisance. This missile section is almost an auto-scroller, but you have to grab onto these ships as fast as possible to go as fast as possible, so it's almost not an auto-scroller. Um, can't get hit by these missiles. If your ship is high enough off the ground, uh, you can you can get hit and then start hanging off the ship, and if you press down, uh, you die. Um, and the fastest way to slash in this game is to press B while pressing down, kind of like Ninja Gaiden or not really like Ninja Gaiden, but it's the same-ish input. Um, okay. Try not to get hit there. Yeah, then it'll start just throwing a barrage of missiles at you. Okay. 
That gunship is a lot harder to deal with if you don't have Ouroboros. So that's second boss down. Pretty easy. And ES Strider is a, a quote-unquote thing of beauty. It's a much different game from this game, developed by different people. This is level 3. Again, you see this is the uh, the first level's music being reused, because they didn't have the music done for these levels yet. Uh, I forgot how to do this. No, I just I didn't get the timing right. Uh, I'm not getting the timing right. I'm not getting the timing right. Okay. <laughs> if you don't get the timing exactly right there, it can be uh, a little finicky. Uh, what what happens, but if we were able to get through it, it doesn't really matter as long as you get on the platforms right. It, it doesn't like mess up timing or no enemies come and attack you. Speaking of enemies that attack you, these guys, uh, I don't I don't know what to call them. They're just like little gunships. Uh, they'll disappear once you get a game over, but of course we're gonna try and not get a game over. Um, We're gonna try our best not to get a game over. <laughs> we should be just fine. Yeah. The timing in this game is a little bizarre sometimes, so getting what I just got there was. Okay. Back to mash. Sorry. Alrighty. Okay. That was the fastest, basically the fastest a human being can get through that. Um, Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, through that boss. Um, the task has a crazy strat that it does that no one actually knows how it works, not even the guy who tasked it. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out, where you can slash him before he comes on screen. This level is, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty cool to me. Uh, it's got dinosaurs. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty easy though. If you don't have options, this level is much, much more difficult because these velociraptors will hit you almost every time. At least two or three times. Um, just like that. Because um, your sword doesn't cover above you or above you, below you, or behind you, just in front of you. And Ouroboros also just shreds that guy. We're in the final level. Uh, this is where things usually go to die. We're gonna try our best. Um, I think the, the movement speaks for itself. Um, just trying to avoid everything as best I can. Make sure my options hit these guys in the right places. Oh god. Okay. I usually don't get hit there. Oh, oh no, okay. I didn't jump at the right time. So, my timing was a little early there the whole time. Uh, we can still 1cc this though, it's not going to be a no miss, but 1cc should be very possible. is, I don't know, it's really difficult with free health, because sometimes you'll get hit as you get picked up in his gravitational field, um, but fortunately I was able to get through him. Uh, this is long beam. We're going to take probably an intentional death here, if I had to guess. Oof, yeah, we're going to take an intentional death here, because that, that, that guy will just persist until you die. So may as well just get him out of the way. This is also a boss rush, just like Ghouls and Ghosts has a little boss rush at the end. We didn't get to see that dinosaur because we didn't take the path that lets you get invincibility in stage 4, because we don't need it. Ouroboros basically guarantees our invincibility. Alright. You can do that in two jumps, uh, but the mashing is really tight. Or in two patterns. Get Longsword to help with the boss. I I was he, he beat me to it. Uh, this is the boss from the first uh, level. He shoots the whole time, even though he's your platform. 
Uh, so sometimes he can just shoot you and then you fall off and die. I've lost a couple 1ccs to that. Um, fortunately, I know where to sit and when to jump to where the, the, the risk is mitigated, but you can still do it. I assure you. Yeah, all sons of old gods die. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever you want, game, I'll, I'll support you. This is uh, where I got stuck. I got stuck on a practice run here. Um, we're gonna see what we can do. <laughs> this, this guy, he, if he doesn't want to like come into your range, he can be a brutal guy. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he's 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 trolling me. We're gonna try one CC. We're gonna do it. Time 9:33:17. That's a pretty good time for a marathon run. That's within two minutes of the world record, but level five is luck central, so that's not that bad. And even the credits music is just the first level's music. They just like put it all as as placeholders. It, it sounds kind of goofy, and it is kind of goofy, but I don't know. I have a, an attachment to it because this is the first version I played. Yep, 1cc. I was trying to get 1cc with, with Strider at the very least. Ghouls, I didn't put it in my submission that I was going to 1cc the game. Uh, Strider, I did. So I'm glad I got the 1cc in Strider <laughs> at the very least. That was a good time. Um, glad it went as well as it did, to be honest. But my time here is limited. I'm going to put in my uh, my initials. It gotta let me get the high score one second, and then you get to uh, to switch me off. We had shoutouts to uh, to Noble Boy, by the way. He had to pull out of the event because of a work um, thing that he had going on, but he was gonna race me in this game, uh, so that run was for him. Uh, the next person that's gonna come after me is uh, Last Does Things with Outrun Online Arcade. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that run. Thank you for watching mine, and uh, take care.